Ah, uh, welcome back to Terra Enigma. In the last episode, we went through our most rigorous and difficult challenge yet. I mean, forget resurrecting the world. We escorted a young cub to the end of his trial so he could become Cain eventually, even though he's like three or something. Actually, I don't know how lion's age come to think of it. Like, how long are they cubs? But that doesn't really matter anyway, because now we're going to see if we get any rewards for it. Big guy, pass the test to be Kane. But I'd rather travel with you, big guy, than become a Kane. Aw, that's nice, but I don't want you around. <laughs> Cough. Er. Ahem. <laughs> I thank you for Liam. There are many challenging roads ahead for a human. I shall inform the animals of your coming. This is a gift I hope you accept. It will help you on your journey. Obtain Neo's fane. Oh, hells yeah. Thank you for protecting him. I'm sure Neo will appreciate it too. Blah, 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 Ah, damn it. I keep spending my, um, bulbs that I just purchased. Well, I mean, I guess I technically needed to use that now because my health was kind of low. But let's see. Let's, he gave us a weapon, right? So where is it? Crystal Spear, Neo's Fane. Okay, so, wow, three to strength. That's nice. I could appreciate that. So, we're going to have to figure out where to go next. I think, um... Probably closer to the Asian continent. I'm sure there's some crossing from Africa. Or I mean, they call it Eurasia in this game. Eurasia. Because they didn't want to separate the continents out. But I mean, it is one landmass, so I, I don't know who decided that. Anything here? Can we? Can we? Okay, so there's a river, probably the Nile. What about over here? So, that was a whole lot of fun, I think. But, we get to figure out what our next goal is. And I think what we are going to be doing next is we're going to try to resurrect humanity. Oh, there's a river. Hey, Indus River. Thank you for... Saving Prince Liam, we were told by King Neo to assist you, so we built this bridge. You didn't build a bridge, you just let rhinos act as one. Building a bridge would imply get gathering parts. Could get across easily now. Okay. Wish I could talk to the rhinos, that would be pretty neat. Alright. Um, I wonder if you got anything worth it. Oh! <gasps> uh. Damn it. We need it. We need to farm some money. And they got a stronger fire rain. Ooh, I might buy a bunch of these. So, I don't know if I've explained this, but the way how magic rocks work is that they're basically your maximum MP. So, uh, as you use spells, you get these magic rocks back. So, as you go further on, you could get stronger and stronger spells. Like, let's say if you want to fill up on more grass pins, you could have more grass pins at a time. But you can't go above that maximum magic rock. That's the way how it works. I looked into it, and I don't know if I'm going to be using too much magic, but it wouldn't hurt to have something that handled range. In most games I play is like kind of range. I never really mess with magic too much, but I mean, I'll have to make a sacrifice this time. Uh, so, well, we're in Tibet. So we're going to be res re de 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 de. we're going to be resurrecting people this time, I guess. But I'm going to definitely farm for some um, money so we can actually... Eclamata? Eclamata? Eclamata. I'm definitely going to be farming for some money this time. So, um... What, we, we, we need 750, right? So, this uh, this might take some some doing, but we'll get there. So, give me a second and we'll be, we'll be back. All right, I decided to say, like, forget about it for the thing. We're just gonna wait till we get to a better area to farm for, um, stuff. Because I'm realizing the, these enemies really don't drop too much gold. At least the first two enemies. The crystal guys, for sure, they, they drop gold. But they're kind of a pain in the butt. So I'd like to get, like, a more solid enemy that can handle... That I can handle. And, uh... That'll make things a lot easier. Are you a bad guy? Oh, yeah, you might be easier to handle. 
Mm, uh, that didn't really do anything. But yeah, there was a flower that I talked to that said that we were the soul for humankind was here, so that works. All right, Yeti is a free beast. It can become a foe or Fred. Oh, and I've been murdering them. Okay. Cool. Oops. <laughs> you a bad guy? Or a good guy? Uh, can I talk to that flower? Does that flower let me talk to it? Can I move over there? Hot water appears to be flowing from the ground, yet he is soaking contently. Hey, it's Yoey. Wow, we haven't heard from him in a long time. See this? It's a hot spring. What's that? It's a spring of hot water, at least 25 degrees C. That's close to ambient temperature. It should also contain inorganic substances and some gases. It heals wounds, too. This Yeti must be nursing some wounds. Ah, oh, you know some stra strange stuff. Where'd you learn that? Hee hee hee. You're not the, in the same intellectual league as me. Well, I mean, he's probably... Hell, he's probably responsible for the whole thing, come to think of it, because if he was locked away in a box, I mean, that seems kind of sketch. But I don't know. I haven't gotten that far in this game. I I, I don't know where the uh, where he is relevant in the plot, really, besides the fact that, hey, I'm a demon in a box. <laughs> you look like an enemy I can farm. Maybe? I can't damage you. Why can't I damage you? That was one of those rock guys. That's not good. So now we have enemies that I can't damage. It's like I'm not really weak. Hmm. Ooh, maybe I could throw rocks at him. Nope. I just, well, I mean, I missed, but it's, 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 uh. I, yeah, I can't, I can't remember this portion of the game at all. Okay, I can't move that. Wait, 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 wait. What am I doing? I have a spear. I have a spear that breaks things. Never forget that I have a spear that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, um. Uh... Rock spear. Uh, that was the only spear that would have worked. Oh god, that's lame. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to wait to see if we could get another ability or something, or maybe that's something for the other side or whatever. I'd like to kill these frickers. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh, that was a good clean hit. I'm thinking that maybe it is the rocks. Nope. I heard the sound. What the hell are they made out of? That is ridiculous. Oh, God. At least I'm getting some gold. Not enough for my fur coat, but... At least a little bit of gold. Ah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The gears are turning slowly. I'm beginning to understand. There's two things I could probably roll into. I see what you're trying to make me do. You're going to make me roll into those walls. Maybe that'll be enough to break it. Give me that money. So I need another 330 for it, so maybe we can double back soon-ish. Did that do anything? It did. It had a delayed reaction, though. That was kind of funny. Alright, that leads out, so let's go to the other one real quick before I even... Before I even... Oh, man. These enemies 
I do not like him. <laughs> Rakashaki is taunting. Of course you're taunting. You know I can't hurt you. That's so annoyed. I'm gonna get an ability that I can do it though, I swear. Ice suit. Okay, so we got a replacement armor anyway. We didn't need the fur suit. Ooh, plus three. All right, cool. Protects against fire made of ice. All right. You know what? I'm gonna try the. I'm gonna try the fire right out. Let's 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 use let's use a little bit of magic real quick. Let's do this. Let's br let's ruin them, maybe, or uh, maybe it'll bounce off. Because I mean, I, I haven't haven't had the opportunity to actually really play with this magic too much, successfully anyway. Because I mean, I think I have technically used it here. Use spell. Oh no. Well, that looked really cool. But I thought if I equipped the box. I would use it that way, not like use it from the menu screen. That's slightly annoying. I wonder what happens if I press the button for it. Okay, that's better. Now let's use it. Gimme. I hope you blow up. That does zero damage. Actually, they... Hmm. I think that's the first time I've actually seen zero damage, like, physically in a number. Alright, so now that we know that we can't hurt them, like, at all, ever. And that they just exist just to be a pain in the ass. Um... Uh, we can move on to the next event. Which is just... Exploring and hoping that we find something that can destroy them. If they're even that important to destroy, I have no idea, honestly. Yay, more money. Hey, those look farmable. Maybe not. Definitely not. Is there anything farmable in this area? That's a pain. I am a snowgrass. My leaves are for effective for wounds. Put a leaf in the hot spring and soak it to cure all your wounds. I will give you a leaf. Okay, so this combined with hot springs equals some nice healing. I could use some free healing. I don't know what that's going to do for me. Unless I need it for the Yeti over there. That might be why they decided to give that to me. Because they said that the Yetis could be friends or foes. And kill all these guys and get my money. Wow, 505. It's not like I even need the armor though, but like the completionist in me wants it. So bad. But I don't need it. That's such a dilemma. Alright. Wish I could kill you, you jerk. Unless when I get the Yeti, then I can like smack their faces and that'd be great. I hope that's what they're related to, honestly. Oh, wait, up here. Okay, so he's healing, right? Right, wrong. Okay, maybe it was, maybe I need to use the item. Ah, that's it. My hurt, all gone. You friend, now friend, you come here. Okay, so I call that right. So where's come here? Is it up here? It is. You wanna go across? Yeah, sure. Throw me. Oh, my friends with all the yetis now, so they're throwing me across random rivers and lakes. There's a chest up there. Um, let's see, so, 
I guess now that we made it this far, I think I'm gonna leave things off here. So in the next episode, we're gonna finish off exploring the, um, shite. So on the... <laughs> did you know my camera was dead? You probably did. I would have probably figured out when it went dead in post. But we're gonna leave things off here. So um, on the next episode, uh, we're gonna explore the rest of this area. And we're gonna resurrect the humans, hopefully. So on the next episode... Yep, that's it. So uh, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a like it if you're brand new here, hit that subscribe button, it helps me out immensely. Uh, whoa, as always, this has been Ryu Kuroku. Uh, thumbs up, I'll catch you guys absolutely later.